Alright guys, so I'll be showing you how to fix your wire on your remote uh, because your wire for some reason is working it's not letting your uh, Xbox 360 remote work so usually your problem will be uh, your USB your USB is where you plug it in right to your Xbox right here you see and most of the time it will be right over here your problem but uh, you wouldn't know because if you move it your control will start working again but that's not my problem but uh, it this was my problem so I just uh, bought a new one as you can see and plugged and plugged back in here so you can uh, go on Amazon or eBay and get a new one of these if that is a problem if that is not your problem it's probably your uh, other place but your problem would be is right where the remote is which would be right over here now uh, that problem usually occurs when you bend it too much just like that see it just turned off and it's turning back on again and seriously nobody wants that when they're playing you're moving there you just turned off again see it's flashing turning back on now the problem is because this bends way too much and eventually one of the wires uh, don't connect and that makes the remote turn off and back on again. So I'm gonna show I'm well, not we I'm gonna show you how to uh, fix that problem, which is actually pretty easy to fix. So uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, what tools you're gonna need. All right, so really all the tools you need here is um, a soldering iron, soldering iron, wire cu wire cutters, uh, and a simple screwdriver and. Um, I forgot what you call this, uh, wire tape or something like that, I don't know, whatever, so, um, wire tape, is that right, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, something like that, so that's the only tools, uh, really, p the tool that I'm guessing people don't have, I'm guessing, is probably a soldering iron, now these aren't expensive, they're, if you go to Walmart, they have it for about five bucks, uh, just get yourself a five dollar Saturn iron. I wouldn't go out on Amazon if I was you, cause um they have cheap ones for five bucks on Amazon, but they're a piece of crap because as soon as you start them up, uh the handle like right over here would stop start melting, and honestly you don't want that. So go ahead and go to Walmart and buy yourself a five dollar Saturn iron and buy yourself a uh, solder. Which look an idiot, I don't have on me right now. Where is it? So yeah, you need solder, wire cutters, screwdriver, and tape. So wires and here's a solder as you can see. The solder. Uh this is about thirty two dollars at Walmart. I got this as well. Now this particular particular model is a Weller. Uh I got it for twenty one dollars. Uh you can get this actually have better models than this this is a screw on one tip there's ones that you just put in and you screw them on there's like different models but this one is 21 and dollars and Amazon you can get a better one than this for only 20 bucks uh, I wish I knew that I would have got it from Amazon but yeah that's what the hot and iron and I'm gonna get straight to the point uh, uh, how to fix this problem right here and also I showed you showed uh, the tools you need uh, you can also need a scissors I forgot to mention that uh, so you can cut the wire now uh, I'll just put a uh, screwdriver solder and wire cutters away and uh, don't forget your electric tape uh, previously I said uh, wire tape I'm sorry it's electric tape so you need that you definitely need that do not use uh, <coughs> regular tape uh, you don't want that uh, it's not gonna hold the wires uh, I'll show you later on what I mean by holding on the wires uh, so yeah okay so our, our damage is right here so we're not gonna want this wire anymore so we're gonna cut right on top of here go ahead and top cut about here uh, yeah about here is fine go ahead and cut nice and neat making this clean cut as you can, and then 
next day. We're gonna get into the remote. Alright, so after you got all your screws out, um, uh, two out of the, uh, what is it, five, six, what is this, five, six, seven, so out of your seven screws, right, is that seven? Yeah, so out of your seven screws, you're gonna have, have actually two different screws out of the seven, so make sure you put those in the right, uh, place, you don't wanna put them in the wrong place. And this this is garbage. So you just throw that away. We never ever will ever need that again. And then carefully pull the plastic tubing over this. Sorry, I got it. this camera is like so close, but it's actually it seems like everything is far. You just go ahead, pull that nice slowly, pull it off. This is also garbage. Okay. So now this is the part, this is the one wire that you just cut. See? That's the one wire. Alright. Put that out of the side. Get to the end of the the end of the wire and uh, cut about a half an inch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on man. There it goes, there it goes. Just, here we go. Just put your digging your nail in there and start ripping it off slowly. Don't rip anything on the insides. Uh, oh yeah. So this gray wire. You guys see, let me see on the camera real quick. So this gray wiring. This wire is just for mics. That's just for protect uh, protection reasons. Uh, for the wiring, so we can actually cut that out. Now here's a plastic. Around there's actually plastic coating. No, what is this? Oh yeah, it's more plastic around the wires for even more protection. So you can also take that. So yeah, be careful and take that plastic off slowly, carefully. Then when you come is it? parts that you don't need be careful don't cut any of your wires you do need seriously do not want to cut your wires that would suck come on now well this should take you about a half an hour to do be patient you don't want to rush this uh, I'm sure I could do this within 25 minutes, but I'm recording, I'm showing you guys. I could probably do it less than that, but uh, okay, there you go. I'm gonna slow this crap away. Put that outside now. Um, and this is the end of the result. Right there. Now, so when you start these on, you obviously when you can't just solder them on solder them on and then you just close it up you just can't do that because you <laughs> eventually you will rip out your wires so uh, to prevent from you ripping out the wires you just make a knot that's all it is to it make a knot there we go try and get it about is that good enough let's see Go ahead and get your back of your remote. So the wiring is about right here, basically. So I just imagine it, okay? So yeah, about right there should be fine. We're not too picky about where it's gonna be, so okay, trying to get is pretty tight, but you know. So eventually when you close it, it's gonna be right there. See? When you close it, it's gonna be nice and tight. It's, you can't pull the wire out because that knot is, is preventing from getting pulled out, and uh, and the wires your wires won't get ripped out that way. So uh, I'm happy that I, uh, I figured that out because you know that would have been bad. Okay, so uh, 
all you really need is now is to solder it on. Okay, then. Uh, actually, first we need to cut the wires. Let's get these. Uh, yep. You need your. Uh, you need your wire cutters. Um. That's your end result. Just you know, just a little bit. Kind of screwed up on the red one. So it, just imagine, just imagine, I had wire cutters and I still screwed up. You know, but uh, just a little bit. It's no biggie. Do this right there. That's how you want them. Just like that. There's three of them. No, four of them. So yeah. You basically, just do the same thing. Uh. With your Xbox 360 remote, uh, I guess you can make this much easier if you just take uh, the board out of the body. But uh, once again, like I said, be careful of the mortars. Be careful, and then just look straight up, and it just comes right out, and then just pop out. Slightly twist and off. The analog sticks, see, just come right out. Let me hold the mortars right there. And the, you can flip it over. And you can just pull them right out. Right there. Just they were like this and just pull them right out. And that's really all to it. Uh, you don't have to pull those out, just leave them. Yeah, either some uh you have some hairs in there. I don't know how oh yeah, the dog. I don't know how they hair got in there. Hmm. It's kinda weird. Anyways, um you might get dust in there, so just clean it out while you're at it. Just clean out your room. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so go ahead and flip it over. And then do the same and cut a little bit. Oh, it just fell off. No. Oh. No, oh, this fell off. Okay. Yeah, that goes that goes for the the A buttons and the B buttons and the X over there. Okay. So go ahead and rest those mortars down gently. Don't bend them too much. Because you might bend the wires off, and then you're gonna have to solder those back on again if you do. Um, yeah, just fix those wires, cut them up. So obviously you just match the colors and you solder them, but you don't want to just, uh, so you go ahead, so I'm going to pick black, okay, um, and all you have to do, uh, you don't want these to be all, want all these wires to be nice, nice and twisted and tight, okay. Go ahead and pick a color. Uh, move all the other wires out of the way. So, like I picked black, so I just move all the rest of the three away. Go ahead and put them together carefully now. I know it's hard to see. You guys can't probably see, but you just go put them together, black and black wire. Go ahead and twist them together. operate right now see this one actually has led lights so you get a bit of uh so <clears throat> so you're done soldering your wires oh man I had a hard time I seriously need to get I need to, I'm gonna go connect the USB just to see if it works let me connect it real quick Okay, as you saw the water just nudged there and off the camera. I'm sure the camera got it. And she says he's flashing, has never seen it connected. Let's uh, flip this back over. So really all you have to uh, really in the left is you need your electric tape. And go ahead and pull that out. Like I said, don't use a regular tape. Don't use um 
Yeah, don't use duct duct tape either, please. Well, I mean, you can go ahead and use it, but you know, I don't know. If that is a thick tape, it, it might it you might have to jam everything in in there. So that's why I want you to use your electric tape. Electric tape is thinner and is it's mainly used only for electronics, and this is an electronic. So go ahead and cut just cut a little piece like this. Go ahead and actually flip your remote back up. Don't oh, crap. No oh, crap. Oh crap. Get rid of this. And then you just every wire that you soldered separately. Um, go ahead and oops, and cover them with tape. Just, just like that. Simple as that. And then you do it from all of them. And so, uh, now you can put it back in. Now be careful. Uh, you want to put everything in back how it was in. So go ahead uh, and put your, uh, put your analog sticks in. Doesn't matter which one goes to where. They're both the same. Pretty interesting uh, how the Xbox 360 remote looks inside. A lot of technology. So, um, get your front covered. Uh, let's see. You want to? You can't just put it any way for the for the buttons. You want? You need to put it in the correct way. Uh, let me see here. Which way? This looks so fuck. I mean, so fucking confusing. Uh, Jesus Christ. Is this even the right way? It all looks the same. I really can't tell the difference, honestly. Cannot tell the difference. Whatever, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just put it like that. Um... Hey, come on now. Cooperate with me. And then slowly and steadily. Steadily. What the hell am I saying? And put your remote. Oh, easy there. Okay. Okay, go ahead and put your motors in. Go right in there. Hmm. Push them slightly in, nice and snug. Go ahead and put the other one as well. Remember to have the rotating parts facing towards you. Okay, have those wires facing towards this way and that wire towards that way. So you just come right out like that. Careful, don't cut them up. Don't cut the wire while it's smushing it in. Do not do that. Always have it spaced out like that. Okay, remember, motor is fishing towards you. I'm going nice and steadily. Pop in the analog sticks in. Carefully. Try not to move too many parts. Because when you close it, you can notice something is out of order. And that's going to be a pain in the ass to open it again and then just trying to fix everything that's happened to me so many times I can't even count so go ahead yeah okay everything seems to be so I'm, I'm, I have it upside down but I'm pressing the buttons right now but I do have pressure with my thumb so they don't pop back up so put pressure and go ahead and press all the buttons start button working okay analogs working left up right down seems to be working okay you're almost done now you have to do is carefully might have wish I could have tied that a little closer actually I could do it right now actually uh, okay so if it's, if it's too far just tie it closer
Come on now. Are you really gonna do this to me? Okay, now carefully go ahead and bend those wires uh, nice and flat right towards the middle like that nice and flat and then slowly and steadily try not to cover any of the holes where your screws are will be going Man, this is really difficult because the way I have tied this up here. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's what I need to do. I think. Right? Take your time, seriously. Because, you know, the way I'm doing it, it seems like I'm going to rip everything out. Oh my god, I would be so pissed. That goes a $15 remote. Okay, and then you're done, basically. Uh, now this is see-through, so this is much easier to tell if the tied-up knot is right there. So basically, all wired remotes will have that uh, uh, curved area in here. So you want the knot to be right in that area. Let's try and get... Oh. Uh oh, what happened here? Oh, let's fuck it. It's fine. Hold on. No, it's not. Alright, so after you're done screwing it up, you're basically done, you know? If you go ahead and everything is there, yep. Mine is everything there. And it's gonna look like that. Um, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, see the knot in there? It's nice and tight. Remember to have it in that bulk area right there. Uh, the knot. Make sure it's nice and tight so it can beat the knot is small. And uh, go ahead and plug it in. See, uh, oops. I should, mine should still work. You do everything right, it should work. It is turning on. Now you see how it's one light? Now I don't know why, but my oh, other remote I did, for some reason, two lights appeared for some odd reason. Left and right turned on, I don't know why. Um, so I just unscrewed everything, put back in everything together, and it started working properly uh that was the only problem just two lights instead of one everything worked so i just unscrewed it and screwed everything back on and it's working uh menu seems to be working everything is working yeah there it goes everything is working both uh more is working on remote working there he goes guys um that's how you fix uh messed up uh wired express 360 remote please like and subscribe